What's going on guys? Welcome to episode 3 of Stump the Chump. As many of you probably know, last episode I did get stumped and I'm a little bit bitter from that. So this week I'm going to try to up my game, pay a little bit more attention and try not to miss some of those things. It was a queen trap that I just completely didn't didn't even think about last time. So I'm going to try to do better, but let's jump right into these positions. All right, guys, first position is from Anugra. Hopefully I said that correctly. Uh, we are white. The timer is ready to go. Let me start it. Okay, so black has just captured our pawn here. So uh, obviously we could recapture the pawn. Material-wise, material, material -wise, everything's pretty equal. This is pretty early. I'm, I'm thinking about actually maybe doing something like this just to open up this for the rook. What else do we have besides these two moves? Is there any other potential moves that we would want to play? E5, I don't think that makes a lot of sense. Knight takes D5, takes, takes. Probably not as good as just taking here right away. What else do we have? I mean, if we just take back here, it looks like black's going to get into a pretty good position. Maybe after just like bishop takes C5. So I really want to do this because here's the thing. If they take my knight, I'm going check. And that's a really annoying check. We've got d6 coming next. So like bishop e7, d6 is there. So king would probably have to go over. We could still play d6. And I guess the queen is kind of awkward. Maybe queen a5. Is it good enough to sacrifice the knight? I want to say it is. I mean, I'm, if I'm playing blitz, I'm definitely doing it. But let's let's see if it makes sense in like a a longer game. Three and a half minutes. Okay. So we take take check. King goes over. D six. Queen a five. Uh, what about knight g5 to threaten this? How can black defend that? Because that's actually just checkmate immediately. Um, yeah, there, there's not really a way. At least not that I'm seeing. Okay, so, yeah, I think it's e takes d5. You know, what else could black play? Yeah, anything else just... It looks like this is going to be so strong. So I want to say it's e takes d5. I'm fairly confident that that's the right move. Um, yeah, I, I think, I mean, I'm not analyzing like everything, but just my intuition is telling me this is the move, e takes d5. So I'm going to stop the timer here. And let's go ahead and turn on the engine and see what we have. All right, and the engine says e takes d5. There we go. So it's actually really close between rook e1 and e takes d5, but it does like e takes d5 slightly better. And yeah, it's, it's saying black can't even take the knight, has to just take the pawn. But if they do take the knight, let's see, rook e1 check was what I was thinking. King d8, and then is it d6? Yep, d6. And yeah, it's saying that then black's better to take it. If not, yeah, knight g5 was the idea. Yep, and there's just, there's no way to stop this really. So... All right, cool. Nice try, Anugra, but you did not stump the chump. Let's see who's next. All right, next position is from Neil. We are playing as black, and let me see. Let me reset the timer and start it. Here we go. Okay, so material-wise, looks like we're ahead the exchange. Okay, 367, 367. So I like our position. We're up the exchange, and we have some, some weaknesses here. Uh, white doesn't really have any immediate threats. I mean, the queen could move somewhere and then the bishop's going to be hitting the rook. But other than that, white doesn't have much going for them. Okay. So, in, I mean, in, immediately I want to do this and checkmate. Problem is the knight's covering it. So we can't do that. Maybe we just play rook over here and come down to this, this second rank. Looks pretty solid. We could come here and trade just because we're ahead material, although this just looks really good, so probably don't want to do that. Uh, 
I don't think I would move that rook. I mean, it does hold onto the pawn. No, because then the queen moves in my rook's trap. Yeah, so if I'm going to move a rook, it's going to be this one. Queen might take the pawn. We could come down here. I guess our rook could actually get trapped after bishop b3, so maybe that's not the move. Let's see. What about queen g5 to attack the knight? Because if the knight moves, then maybe we can come in here and checkmate. So let's see. Queen g5. What can white do about that? The knight could move to f3. Hmm. I guess it is a little bit of an interesting position. It's not that easy. Even though it's definitely better for us, it's not that easy to figure out what move to play. I mean, you know, that bishop is pretty annoying. We could go here, just because there's no there's no real way to get through right now. I, I, without making the knight move, our queen's never going to be able to get in there. So maybe the best idea is to just trade and go into the end game. you know, having the, the rook for the knight. So bishop e6. If takes, we just trade. If the queen moves somewhere, then we just take this. I like that. Okay, so that's that's one idea. Are there any other moves that I'm missing that, that might be good to play? Again, rook b8 just takes, and if we go, go down there, then bishop b3. Looks pretty annoying actually trapping our rook. Queen here, knight f3. I guess we can go like here, the knight moves. I don't know what we accomplished by doing that. Okay, so I'm going to say bishop e6. Um, yeah, bishop e6 looks pretty good, unless I'm just completely missing something, but I don't think so. So I'm going to say bishop e6. Let's go ahead and stop the timer and turn on the engine and see if we are correct. Okay, and the engine says king to h8 is the best move, and then bishop e6. All right, cool. So we got the second move, and if you remember, the rule change says as long as we are within two points of the uh, top move, we are okay. So yeah, we're, we're good. Um, that's close enough. By the way, while I'm talking about this two-point thing, a lot of people were saying two points is too much. Um, I don't think so, because there's a lot of positions where the engine you know, will say something is like one point difference, and it's for a human, it's really, really difficult to even have any idea why that's the case. So usually two points is enough where it starts to become pretty obvious like why there might be a difference in the moves. So I'm gonna keep it at two. Um, maybe if I was like some super GM, I would change it like some of you guys said, but I'm not. So I'm gonna keep it at two of just going forward. All right, so we're, we're okay here. Bishop e6 was uh, one of the top moves there in within the range. So uh, nice try, Neil, but you didn't stump the jump. Let's see who's next. All right, next position is from Garrett. We are black. White has just played G takes F3. Let me reset the timer, start the timer, and all right, here we go. So first of all, we're down a piece. Um, three, six, three, six, seven. Okay, we have a pawn for a piece. We do have the king over here. It looks like there should be maybe some sort of checkmate or something. Um, bishop is annoying because I would like to go there, but I can't. But I can play queen h4 or rook h5 and try to get something going here. So I guess the question is, does it matter which one I do first? And how can white stop my plan? So my plan is to go one, two, and then three. Checkmate somewhere here. If Let's say I start with the rook. Or actually, no, let's say, let's say the queen. The queen just looks more natural. So let's say queen h4. And the idea is next move I want to play rook here. What can white play? F4. I'm going to go there anyway. And if this pawn moves, then that's checkmate. If the rook moves, then that's checkmate. Queen could take the rook, but I don't care. I'll just take it and I'll be ahead. So that's... Uh, okay, so queen here, F4 does not work. So what else can white play? Rook to e1 immediately. I'm still going to play there. Ah, then the king could maybe escape. Mm-hmm. Check, and the king could run over here. So that's something we have to think about. Here, rook e1. I guess we could play queen h3. And again, my plan is still the same, to come here and checkmate. 
And then what can white do? I don't see anything. I don't see anything. Okay, so here, what about some other move? Uh, can the queen go somewhere? Ah, oh, there's a check here. Not really concerned. I can just play d5. Queen's still really far away. Yeah, so I think this is the move. I don't know if it matters. I could also play rook here. It looks like they're both going to lead to the same thing. My instinct would be to play the queen. So queen h4. Let me check one more time. Did I fail to consider any other moves? Yeah, I don't think so, because white's problem is there's just there's too many pieces blocking the king from escaping. The only the only way would be rookie one trying to go king f1, but then we can play queen h3. Oh we have to have yeah, we have to do the queen first, so we can play queen h3. Okay, because if we play rook and then the rook goes here, then we can go here, but the king can escape. Alright, so the move has to be queen h4. Uh, two minutes to go. Yeah, I don't think I need to analyze anymore. I'm fairly certain that's the move. So queen to h4. Let's stop the timer and check the engine. All right, and the engine says queen, queen to f6. Oh, no. And then queen h4 and rook g5 check are just a draw? What? Okay. Well, how does white survive? King to g2. Yeah, that's a move, isn't it? That is a move, because you want to play rook h1. Yep, I didn't think about it. How about that? And then if we play here, the rook just goes over, right? Is that is that the idea? And, I, and we have nothing? Well, queen b3 first. Uh-huh. And then the rook comes over. And we really have nothing. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Hmm. Well, um, I got stumped. Uh, there's no uh, other way to say it. <laughs> Queen to f6 was the move, though. Interesting. So what's, I guess, the, the difference is now you have mate, because your queen can just do this. Mm. And up here, you had no way to, to do that check. How about that? Queen f6. Congratulations, Garrett. You have stumped the jump. Um... I'm, I'm starting to notice a pattern, and so maybe I'll, I'll make a mental note of this for, for the next episode, but I'm failing to consider moves. Like, that's just my, you know, I'm just failing to consider moves. Last week, I just completely failed to look at that bishop move because I just thought, oh, no, that can't be right. And then here to today, I failed to even consider this, right? I didn't, you guys remember, I didn't even talk about it. I just, and it's not that I didn't see it. It's like my brain is kind of dismissing certain moves as being, you know, and there's no way that can be right, right? Like the same, the same way I would, you know, even though I, I know that that's a move, I'm not even going to think about it because it just looks so bad. I, I kind of felt the same way with King G2 because I felt like, well, that's not really helping White's King escape. But it actually is, right? Because if you go back to my main threat is to go here and checkmate on one of these two squares. Well, guess what? Once this rook comes over here, it's protecting both of those two squares. So, um, you know, I just have to consider more moves. So, uh, but really nice position. And you can see the evaluation minus two and, and my move was zero. So I was not within two, the two point range. And um, yeah, really nice, nice position, Garrett. You know what? I'm tempted to end the episode here because I was stumped, but I don't want to end on that one. So I think I'm going to do a few more and... <laughs> Hopefully I don't get stumped multiple times in the same episode, but hey, it could happen. Uh, but let's let's try let's try a few more. All right, next position is from Felix, and we are black. White's just played rook c1. Uh, let's go ahead, reset the timer, start the timer. Okay, let's see if we can not miss some some obvious stuff here. So first of all, uh, two, four, six, seven looks even. Okay, uh, the queen looks misplaced. So let's make sure I don't miss out on another queen trap like queen f7 followed by rook h8 that's an idea for sure i mean there's check it doesn't do anything there's f4 the bishop just goes back that's not a bad looking move but it does let the queen out okay let's yeah let's see does this actually just trap the queen is that just is that it queen cannot move ah the bishop can take here 
Okay, that's a move. If, I, if we play queen f7, bishop can take this. Although, rook here, queen could take. Uh, hmm. Is there some other way to take advantage of that? Interesting, interesting. So I want to play. I want to play here to trap the queen, but I'm afraid of this. Uh, can we? Hmm. Okay, here's an idea. I don't know if this is it or not, but maybe we play queen f7. The immediate threat is rook here trapping the queen, which means if white doesn't want that to happen, I think they pretty much have to take here. And the point is, obviously, that we, we can't take or we lose our queen, right? So queen here, bishop here. What if I just defend the pawn? Like, maybe just slide, let's see. What if I slide a rook up? Because then I am threatening to take the bishop. The bishop leaves. Oh, no, then I can't bring the rook over because I don't have it defended. I can defend the pawn this way. But then I'm not threatening to take the uh, the bishop. Mm, but maybe queen h5. Okay. Hmm. Two minutes, 46 seconds. All right. Let's, let's just make sure I'm not missing something silly here. Bishop takes, rook goes over, queen takes. Do I have a good follow-up? Oh, you know what? We could play queen here, which is attacking the bishop. Okay, bishop has to leave. So let's just, just say back to d2. Queen's here, queen's here, rook's here. At that point, is that also trapping the queen? No, it can go there, right? Hmm. There's got to be something here, right? There's got to be queen of seven. Bishop takes. I must be missing something. What about queen h5 immediately? Then this has to happen. Ah, can we just play bishop here? And then win a piece. Okay, all right, maybe that's it. Queen here, bishop takes. We play queen h5. The threat is that we're going to take it and the, the bishop's pinned. So the queen has to take here. And then we can probably just play bishop f8. Okay, so queen f7 looks pretty good. I think queen f7 is the move. Yeah, um, I'm going to say queen f7. We'll stop the timer. Let's go to the analysis and see what the engine says. All right, and the engine says queen f7, which actually was what was played in the game, and it was a brilliant move. So how about that? Very nice find, Felix, uh, that you played that. Uh, very, very good. And oh, c5. It's not even showing this move. Is, is this just really bad for some? Okay, yeah, it was the reason I said queen h5. And then after takes, is it bishop f8? Oh, rook g8 is even better. Rook g8, and then I guess you you can just go here. Is that the idea? Oh no, you just take that. Oh, and there's checkmates all over the place. Okay. Yeah, all right. I guess I forgot there's a king too. <laughs> okay, cool position. Uh, nice little move there. Nice little brilliant move. Uh, congratulations, Felix for finding it. Uh, unfortunately, you didn't stump the jump, but hey, that's pretty sweet. So thanks for thanks for sending that one in. All right, let's see who's next. All right, next position is from Anthony. We are playing as black. White's just played bishop c4. Let me reset and start the timer. Okay, so two rooks, two rooks, bishop, bishop, three, four, three, six. So we're up a couple of pawns. So I'm okay trading if we have to. It is opposite color bishops. Can be very drawish at times. So we would like to find a pretty nice move here. I mean, right off the bat, 
you know, putting two rooks on the second rank is usually really good. So that's that's my first move. Um, are there any other moves that make sense? Moving this bishop somewhere, maybe, like to try to get on this diagonal, like either here or here. And maybe this could be an idea, although I don't really know what that accomplishes. I think I would rather play this, because then we have this. Huh, you know what I'm seeing? You can, I can actually take this, takes and bring the bishop down here. King has to go over. It's almost, it's almost pretty nice, but it doesn't quite work. I wonder if we could play bishop there first, because if it takes, you can take and then capture the bishop. Hmm, that's an idea, actually. That is an idea. Okay, but the only thing is, is what if something like, let's see, rook d2. I guess you could still take this with check and then still end up getting the piece. So bishop a3, not a bad move. Um, let's just say something like captures here. Then we can just take here check, king goes over. We can take check, king goes over, and then we can probably just take back or something. And we gotta be a little careful, There, there could be a checkmate here. Okay, so we have some time. Let me not rush this one and mess it up. I'm pretty sure this is the you know, move. I'm just curious, after takes, we can take here check, king goes over. We can take there check, king goes over. We could take the bishop, but then this pawn is actually gonna maybe become a queen although we still have our bishop sitting there hmm okay hold on um i feel like this shouldn't be so difficult we go there takes check king goes over we take okay hmm pawn takes Yeah, I guess we can just move the bishop at that point, right? We don't have to, we don't have, actually have to take on b2. Okay, I think it's fine. I think my brain just wasn't working for a second. Yeah, it, it should be good. We go here, and if takes, um, we can just take and take the bishop and then retreat our bishop. We don't have to take that extra pawn. We don't need it. Okay, so I think bishop a3 is the move. Um, this is also good, but that's just like really forcing. So I'm going to say it's probably bishop a3. Um, yeah, we'll go with bishop a3. I will stop the timer and let's see what Stockfish says. All right, and Stockfish shows, yeah, bishop a3, how about that? So bishop a3, oh, interesting, rook, rook g2 wasn't even on the list. Huh, what's so, what's so bad about this move? D takes c6, f takes, takes, king b8. You just lose all your pawns. Huh. Okay. I guess it makes sense. Because even though you have this, um, giving up all the pawns, I guess, isn't worth it. Okay. Good to know. So, but yeah. So, Bishop A3, we actually did find it. That was the, the best move. And on takes, Rook takes C3, King B1. Yeah. And Rook takes C4. Just taking it right away. And then if they take here, we can just... Oh, yeah, we can just even ignore it. Do this and go here. Okay. Because we the bishop just covers. Yeah. I don't know what I was thinking, but yeah, that's totally fine. So, all right, cool. All right, nice position there. Uh, thank you, Anthony, uh, but you did not stump the chump. All right, next position is from Jed. Uh, I'm not actually sure how to pronounce that name, so I'm just going to say Jed. Um, we are black, and let me reset the timer and start it. Okay. Wow. Um, 
man, what a position. Okay, so... <laughs> just, like, I don't know what's happening here. There's just so many clumps of pieces. Um, it looks like we're down a piece as black. I like that um, most of white's pieces are not by their king. This is a little annoying where the knight's pinned, but other than that, I'm not super scared here. Okay, let's focus our efforts over here for a second. Um... What kind of things can we do? Wow. I mean, the knight's under attack. I, I want to get my queen over there, so... How do I even do that? We can't go to d6 because the bishop... Maybe queen d7 and come over this way? I don't know if that's enough to just give up the knight. We could go check and then open up this... For the rook or just the simple knight before and try to bring the queen over after that what is white most likely going to do in this position i have no idea i don't feel like they can go there we just take it because this is defended so that knight doesn't have a lot of options maybe here and here to attack this or this this knight could go there and there other than that, I don't know what white would do. So I, I, I get the sense that we have a little bit of time to do something over here. I mean, check, king goes back. You could slide the rook over. Check takes. And then queen d7, setting up to go here and bring the rook over. That actually doesn't look, look bad, okay? Because it's, it's forcing the capture for sure, because we've got the, the fork. Well, I guess it's not forcing it, but most likely, let's say, takes. Queen to d7. And the point is simply that we would like to go here. Bring our rook over, and I think we're going to be able to checkmate with, with the rook and the queen. Once we sort of bait that pawn out of the way. Two minutes left? Okay. Uh, yeah, let, let's say we do this takes queen e7. Like, what, what could white possibly play? If they move the king over, then we're coming down with check. King's got to go back, bring the rook over. Yeah, there must be checkmate for sure. Okay, if they move the king, what if they move the king, let's say, this way? Then we've got queen a4 check. The knight could block, uh, but then we can go there, check. King would have to probably run, then we can take it. Also looks really good for us, okay. Other moves could be, let's see, king here. Uh, but then our bishop can come in, which looks really great. Okay, any other moves? Maybe knight b3. We can still, let's see. Yeah, we can still bring the queen in here. Mm-hmm. Attacking it. King has to clear, and then we have the same thing we looked at. So I really I really like this and then queen d7. Because we just gotta get the queen over, and then this rook can come in and this bishop can come in and help. So knight c6, and if they don't take the knight and just like move, then honestly, I might just play queen d7 anyway and still try to go there. Okay, um, 58 seconds, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go with knight c3 check, I believe. Let me just look for a few more moves, since I seem to be missing moves lately. Um, what about something like bishop d3? No, I'm still gonna go there, probably. Bishop c2, I've got check. Yeah, it looks it looks really good. Because these pieces kind of act as a wall where the king can't get away. So okay, I'm, I'm gonna say knight c3. I think that's I think that's the move. All right, we're gonna stop it with 13 seconds left and let's see what the computer says. All right, and we have ooh, queen d7 and then knight c3 check. Okay, so it is only one point difference. Okay, so we don't uh, lose. We're still within the two points. 
but it does like queen d7 a little bit better. Interesting. So I think the idea is, it looks like it's the same, right? Bringing the queen over here to this a4 square is, is what you want to do. Now, whether you play knight c3 first or you play here, it looks like it's it's pretty close. So let's see, knight c3 takes queen d7. And what does it think white can do here? King c2 or knight c4? Knight c4, king c2, it's bouncing around. Okay, king c2 is one move that I did look at, so let's check that one first, and then we'll come back to knight c4. Check. King d3. Yeah, I was thinking only knight b3 is an option, but that still looks really good for me, right? Like, maybe just a5? Why is a5 not a move? I want to bring the bishop here. Why is that not a move? Because e4 and the king is going to get away. Oof, this is a tough position. This is a really tough position. Yeah, and the king just basically runs over here. But don't we have check here? Wait a minute. Oh, then there's f. Wow, f4 on, oh, bishop f4. Yeah, that's even simpler. Okay, all right, so I get it. I get it, I get it. The king gets away. So interesting, king d3, and they can just run that way. Although, computer likes bishop d7 as being a better move. So you're still threatening to come here. What happens on e4 now? I take this way. King moves, and then what do you do? Just bring the queen in. This is a really complicated position, I'm not going to lie. I'm not even sure on some of these moves. So let's just back up, I guess. But basically, to kind of summarize what, what was happening, um, getting the queen over here to a4 was the idea. Whether you did it this way, or it looks like it was actually better to just immediately go queen d7. The point was, you wanted to get the queen over to the king, Take advantage of the fact that like most of white's pieces are sitting over here, right? So queen uh, d7 it likes better, and if the king takes, you go check, has to go back, bring the rook over, and white has to be pretty careful here. It shows bishop takes c7, or b7, yeah, I mean it's still pretty complicated. It's showing equal, which means probably a perpetual check somewhere is what the best line would lead to, but... Anyway, uh, interesting position. I didn't get stumped because of the two-point rule, so there's that. Um, but yeah, thank you, Jed. That was a pretty interesting position. Uh, I'm starting to get a little bit tired, so I think I will end this episode here. We did get stumped earlier. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you in the next episode. Stay sharp, play smart, take care.